Orthodox temples. The survival of a nation depends on the preservation of its language and faith. Smiadovo is among the most typically Bulgarian places. Even during the hard times of the Ottoman yoke, it managed to keep the words and spirit of its founders alive through the temples of Christianity. The local people, however, refused to accept the loss. When restoring the village, they built a new church, sometime in the beginning of the 19th century. In 1867, another teacher occupied the church pulpit, Janku Jankov, or as the local people lovingly called him, Reverend Father Iani. They respected him for his intelligence and his efforts to preserve the history and the language of his Bulgarian region. He was the first one to try and collect the old, typically local words in a vocabulary. When the half-basement little church nearly fell apart, the people of Smiadovo decided to build a new one, larger and more magnificent, corresponding to their increased wealth. But that required the permission of the Sultan. So in 1868, three wise men from the village headed for the capital of the empire on a single horseback. One of them was riding, while the other two walked, and thus they alternated all the way to Constantinople. Those were more favorable times. Three years later, the Bulgarian exarchate was given independence inside the empire. Yet Smiadovu went ahead of time. The sublime port issued a sultan's authorization for the construction. The St. Archangel Mikhail church was built in its present shape in just one year. Today, the original Sultan's document and its translation can be seen in the Schumann History Museum. The new temple was built around the old one by masters Jurata and Petku, based on the strict instructions for length, breadth and height included in the authorization. When the new structure had surrounded the little underground church, it was fully destroyed and removed. The icon painter Vasil Bedelev from Schumann began decorating the white new walls with icons. He was not a famous icon painter, but the images he created on the dome, the altar and the walls of the church combined the rules for the icons with an interesting creative originality. The iconic images of Saint Ignati and Saint Dimitar are extraordinarily alive and realistic. The posture of Jesus on the right of the altar, sitting with a large book on his knees, is an uncharacteristic presence in the Bulgarian ecclesiastic iconography. Christian temples were also built in the nearby villages. In Chernivrh and Bialbryak, the churches have the name of the Virgin Mary, Holy Assumption and Holy Birth of Our Lady. In Jankovo and Rish, the temples honor Saint Dimitar Solonsky. People from the village and the entire region joined the concluding works of St. Archangel Mikhail in Smiadovo. In 1871, the complete church was sanctified by the Bishop of Varna and Preslav, Simeon, and in 1922, the imposing bell tower was erected. Until today, the bell announces the festive events in the spiritual and secular life of the people of Smiadovo. Across the square from it stands a beautiful white stone fountain. Its water is like the faith, pure and lively, flowing through time and creating a feeling of eternity. <laughs> <laughs>